Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to share with you guys um, the new release from KS Craft. This is the September 2024 release. This is actually a huge release. Um, there are, hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Like 18 die sets, I think, in this release. Um, I am really cutting back on my design team work. I am just, I work full time and I don't have as much time to craft. Um, I'm trying to like just do more things outside of the house, um, on my days off. So, um, uh, and with the holidays coming up, I've, uh, stopped doing Scrap Diva's, um, design team for now. And, uh, Erica was so kind that it said, well, hey, if you ever want to like get guest design or something and you, you know, when you find some time, you know, she's willing to let me do that. So I'm so thankful to her for that. And I'm thankful for being on her team, um, all these months. Um, KS Craft, I usually with them, um, uh, Hannah sends me like the whole release or she'll send me like a video and, or I'll look at her video that she sent, puts out on YouTube. And then I'll kind of pick a few items that I feel like I'm going to have time to work with. So we're going to kind of still do that probably for a little bit, but I don't know if I'll have to phase this out or not, just cause I'm trying to, you know, I'm really trying to do more outside. And also, as you know, I do purchase other people's kits. I'm really into stamp market and other things. And I, uh, I just want to be able to use the other things that I do purchase. And I have a ton of Scrap Diva dies and Chaos Craft dies that I never get to use um, when I'm doing the design team stuff. Just because the design team stuff, you know, it's every month and it takes up a lot of my um, free time. So then I don't have time to work with the things I already have. So just trying to like kind of, like I said, scale back a little bit. Okay, sorry. Enough of all that housekeeping business. Let's get to these dies okay so many fun ones you guys um i probably should have taken these out but the first one let me move these out of the way this one is called the um 3d crate box and i am so excited about this one so you can see it's a very large size that's the actual bottom of the box um, you have a layering piece for the inside of that so cute i love that there's a layering piece you have, this is like the front of your crate and then the back of your crate so that, you know, you've got your little handles and you have these, which are layering pieces for that, um, that actual crate. And then you have this, which is your side piece. This goes together super simple. You would just cut out two of these, two of those, one of this, one of this. And if you want a label, you can cut out, you know, the two labels for the front and back. Uh, that's all it is going to be to put this together. And then all the rest of it's going to be just a lot of fun just decorating. If you want to decorate kind of the front of, of it. Um, and what Hannah mentions in her video when she shows you all of the projects from the September release, she sh uh, shows you that uh, a uh, memory dex card fits in here very nicely. As long as it's not a really uh, oversized one, but more of that standard size, which I think is like a four inch. I think, I think a standard is about a four inch, but you can still go very tall. You just can't go wider than four inches, but it fits in here perfectly. And so you can just kind of have them setting in there, or you can put the straws or chopsticks where you glue them, you know, into the, like the front or the back and the front and your cards can, you know, stick in there. But that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to do something with memory decks cards with this, just to show you guys like how, um, how fun that crate is, but you could use it in, for happy mail or, you know, just kind of fill it full of goodies. So lots of uses. Um, this one I'm super excited about. This is the, um, cookie sheet mini album. So as you can see, here's your cookie sheet. That is like the base to your album and all of your pages. Like how stinking cute is that? And then you have a layering piece that goes right over here. Um, you have this, which is where you would connect uh, to the side of this, and that's your binding, and you just add your rings. You have a rolling pin, and this is the layering piece that goes on your rolling pin. You have a chocolate chip cookie. You have measuring spoons, and these are the little layering pieces that go like right there. Um, so those, those are for the measuring spoon, a cookie cutter, uh, the word recipe. You have uh, a spatula. You have a cupcake, the cupcake topper. This is really fun. It looks like a rolled out piece of dough. 
And then the word spells out sweet, and these look like little sugar cookies. Super, super fun, you guys. Um, and I can't wait to use this. So I have a lot of KS Craft dies that are baking themed that I've bought over many, many years. And um, I wanted to do, I've been wanting to do for a long time, an embellishment album with just only baking themed things. And um, this is gonna be perfect to put that embellishment book together. So super excited about that. Um, so everything I got in the release, like I said, there was a ton in the release. I didn't choose a bunch of them because I of time. And I decided I would do mostly the baking ones so that I could um, just do a lot of like, uh, just a whole bunch of baking albums, cards, embellishments, and um, I'll probably do them mostly Christmas, I think, um, just for now. But I think this would be really fun to do Halloween, like more spooky, fun baking things. So I feel like there's a lot of uses for this set. Um, so this is the, oh gosh, what is this called? This is like the, oh, cookie jar mini album. Um, it's really cool though, because you get two sizes. So you get this bigger size, which is the mini album, and then you get a smaller size, which allows you to make these smaller embellishments. And the cool thing is, is you have plenty of layering pieces. So you have like your base piece here, a layering piece here, another layering piece, which you can use for your acetate. You have your frame for your foam and for your um, cardstock if you want to turn it into a shaker, but you don't have to. Um, and then you have the same pieces for the mini. Um, well, I guess you don't have like the layering pieces and all that, but you can still easily do that. You have your lid, and then that's like the top layering piece that goes on your lid. You have two cookies in the larger size, two in the small, and then like the little morsels or chocolate chips that go on the um, big cookies and then those go on the littler cookies. Uh, so yeah, this is super fun. I'll probably make like some cards or something with that one. Uh, then we have the, um, this is not baking themed, but it is an add-on. So do you guys remember this set? It was the Cat Mini album. It was, I think, released in July and um, a, it came with the nose and the whiskers, but it didn't have like eyes or a mouth or anything. And um, they, so uh, Chaos Craft decided to do a little add-on kit, you guys. And in the add-on kit, you are going to get um, these really cute eyes. So it looks kind of like the, you know, the cat's eyes are closed and then the little um, eyelashes. And then you have this sweet little um, nose and then mouth that you can add. So you can kind of change the look of this. Um, and then you have this cute little kind of Santa hat with this is right here is the layering piece that goes there. And then you do have a layering piece, whoops, right here that goes uh, right here for like the little pom-pom. And um, it sits like that kind of on the cat's head. So it's really, really cute. So Hannah has a great um, uh, sample of how that works. And then in this set, even if you didn't care, if you, know, if you don't have the cat, and so you don't really care so much about the cat face, you have two strings of lights, amazing. You have these little, um, those are the layering pieces for the lights, so you can change these, you know, make them different colors. You have two different trees, super cool, and these have a cutout right there, so these can be like little tags. Um, this piece, even though it's for the pom-pom here, I think that would be fun to cut a bunch of those out and just use them um, as layering pieces in your projects. Um, then you also have four different snowflakes. So you've got the two large ones, and then you have two of the smaller size. So this is a really fun, very versatile kind of Christmassy set that you can use. Oh, and the other thing I'll mention, even if you didn't use this hat there, this would be a really fun uh, like small, or not small, but like large embellishment um, or other, you could use it in some sort of other project. So it doesn't have to be just for this cat. So, so fun. Love it. Um, then we have the baking garland. So you guys are familiar by now of all the different garlands that KS Craft has come out with. Um, this one is adorable. So there's also a fall one in this release um, that I didn't get and it's cute. It has like turkeys, acorn, pumpkin, 
and I think maybe a mushroom. I can't remember what the fourth one was, but this baking one is so cute. So you have the base piece for the cupcakes, and then those are the top, the little layering pieces for the frosting base piece for the apron and the layering pieces. So whenever I make these, I usually cut this one out in like glitter, like gold glitter, because I want that little strip right there to be uh, gold. And then all of these I'll cut out. Usually I'll run it through a couple times in a bunch of different colors, and then I'll kind of change the colors. So I think that will be really, really fun. And then you get the um, oven mitts, which I think this could be cute at Christmas, like little mittens, you know, hanging I think that would be really fun, especially if you did it like on a fireplace or something and have like the mittens are kind of like hanging above the fire to dry. I think it'd be cute. Um, and then the chef's hat and you have the layering pieces for that. So um, these are one of my most favorite things of Chaos Crafts because um, they're really easy to make. Uh, you can make a lot of them really quickly and they're really fun. Okay, almost to the end. Yeah, I can't remember how many I got. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I chose seven. Um, I, I'm hoping I'll have time to do all seven for you guys. So this one here is called the um, Large Cabinet. And it is so stinking cute, you guys. So it looks like a, a large, you know, little cabinet, baking shelf, whatever you want to call it. I actually have one just like this in my kitchen, which is so funny it is literally has curved legs like this um it is so so cute um and this set is just totally reminds me of it um it is so fun because you have so you have the base piece and then this piece which goes um you know right over the top but then you have these right here which are like your shelves and then you get to decorate your shelves so your shelves can be obviously baking themed so you've got like a mixer um you have the bowl for the mixer you have a measuring cup you have a cake stand with the you know the little uh lidded dome uh a mixing bowls teacups this right here makes a scale like a little you know scale um, so all the things you need to do a really fun baking shelf. I think these could be like little pictures. So you could stamp images inside those and have those also on the shelf. That's the only thing I can think what those are. I'm not 100%. Or maybe you could put them down here and they could look like, oh, that is what they are. Because I couldn't figure out what these were. Now I realize these, if you turn it sideways, they're like two drawers. And then those are the handles that go on the drawers. So that's what those are, you guys. So imagine, let's just do that real quick. Here you go. That is like that. This bottom piece right here, this like bigger one, I think is your bottom one that goes here. And then you have um, these, which are going to kind of go like right here, I think on the bottom. And then you've got the handles and then, and then you'll have your shelves. So, so, so fun. But what I plan on doing with this, so I can't wait to do a very baking, Christmassy kind of looking hutch. And then um, I think a fun little spooky one with, um, you know, potion bottles and spiders and just like all the good stuff. And um, there, there's, let's see, which, uh, oh, the tiered tray set. So Chaos Craft has a tiered tray set and there's a bunch of smaller embellishments in there and they're for all the seasons so if you have any of those you're going to be able to use those um d those little images in this hutch so there's like an easter one and a christmas one and all all the different holidays so the halloween one would be so cute so yeah you can totally decorate that with that um <clears throat> excuse me the last one is the large tag stacking pocket and I absolutely had to get this one because I love to do a loaded pocket. It is one of my most favorite things to gift somebody. And um, this is a little bit different than what you're used to seeing because you get two um, actual like pockets. So here's your giant tag. So, so fun. You have this layering piece here and it has the nice side gussets. So that's going to make it, you know, pop out enough to put lots of goodies. I love this like scalloped edge. I love it has a layering piece. And then you get this other pocket that goes on the front of the first pocket. So this is going to be like the original loaded bags we used to make with um, lunch bags. 
that's kind of the effect you're going to get with this. Very different than what we've seen in the past. And the cool thing about this is you can just make a tag, like a giant tag. I think it's super cute. You can make just one pocket. So that's basically like two things. Then you can have this one, which is like three different types or do that. So you kind of get like four different projects out of this one set. And what I usually do when I make one of these is I actually make two sets and I actually make it into like an easel. So I'll have one tag on one side, one tag on the other side. I have like a bottom to it. So um, I have several videos where I've shown that, but I'm gonna do that with this one just so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. So um, yeah, super excited. So let's just show you, I wanna show you my favorites. Um, I'm gonna show you my top three. I think my top three is that one. Definitely the garland. Definitely this hutch. And I picked this because this is like all year round. This is all year round. And I feel like this is, you know, this can be, this can be any season because you can make the colors and the, and the paper that you use. So this could be fun for Halloween, Christmas, you know, that sort of thing. Um, what would be one more of my favorites? I mean, there's, it's hard to choose because they're all like amazing, but I probably would say the cookie sheet. So I guess that's my top three, but I'm going to have to add that one in. So, so fun. But guys, honestly, I picked my most favorite and it's just like all of these. So there's my top. There's my top seven, I guess. Kind of an order. So, so fun. All right. That's it, guys. But check, check out the whole release because there is a whole entire fall released some scarecrow bag toppers, a scarecrow mini album, an acorn mini album, a fall garland, a fall banner set, some shadow words, like lots of fun fall stuff. Um, I just knew I wasn't going to have time to, to get to it all. So this is what I'm going to work with. Um, I can't wait to get started and hope you like the video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.